It's time for Agritalk, a discussion of issues and events important to rural America. Here's Mike Adams. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Agritalk as we broadcast from the Iowa State Fairgrounds in Des Moines, opening day of the 23rd World Pork Expo. We'll be here today and tomorrow talking with pork industry leaders about a number of issues facing the industry, the uh, accomplishments, the successes of the past year, and the challenges that the industry still face. And we... Uh, we have uh, quite a few of those challenges. They're concerned about feed costs, feed supply. They're worried about trade deals not getting done. So there are a number of things we'll talk about. And we'll talk about some of the initiatives that the pork industry has underway, such as the We Care initiative, helping to communicate the message of pork production to consumers today. So we'll be getting to all that on our program today and tomorrow. But we're very happy to kick off the program today with a very special presentation, our third $500 presentation to a food bank, thanks to the folks at Syngenta, part of the Halix G weeding out hunger campaign that we're very proud to be a part of. They presented us with $1,500 back at Commodity Classic. We have split that up into three different 500 donations to the food bank in Illinois and in Missouri. And now we're here in Iowa, and we're very happy to have with us the program coordinator for the Food Bank of Iowa, Sarah Boniface. Sarah, thank you for being with us, and uh, we're very happy to present $500 to you for the food bank from the folks at Syngenta. Thank you very much. We appreciate being here and are extremely appreciative of this donation. It's going to be a tremendous help. We were talking before going on the air about the growing need for feeding people in Iowa and across the country. And you said especially here in the summer months with kids because they're out of school so they don't have the school lunch program. Right. Um, you know, kids who qualify for the free and reduced meal program at school are used to getting their breakfast and lunch um, that way. And so that really helps families stretch that food budget. But when kids are out for, for, out for summer, uh, it really puts, makes an impact on what families have um, available. So you see then uh, more demand, more traffic at the uh, food pantries? Absolutely. The pantries are um, reporting to us increased needs over last year. Uh, we had one pantry that came in and said Memorial Day weekend, in fact, completely wiped his pantry out. He had nothing left. Tell us how large an area of Iowa do you serve? Well, we have responsibility for 55 counties um, in our total service area. 42 of them are served out of the Food Bank of Iowa, located here in Des Moines. 13 are served out of our redistribution organization, which is the Food Bank of Southern Iowa. And you were telling me that the need continues to grow and uh, the amount of food going through the food banks continues to grow. It does. Um, from July 1st of last year through April 30th of this year, we have distributed so far 5.8 million pounds of food. It's a 21% increase over that same time period the year before. And you were also telling me it's an especially big challenge to get the food to the people in rural parts of the state. It is. Um, you know, many rural areas won't have a summer feeding program. Their pantries rely more on, on families coming in for needs. Um, and they just simply don't have the resources that the metro areas do. I want to bring in uh, Carol Mosley, who is the herbicide asset lead for Syngenta, who, is, of course, is really a spearhead of the Halex GT Weeding Out Hunger campaign. And, Carol, good to have you here with us. I know you're very happy to make this presentation to the Food Bank of Iowa. I am, Mike. It's, it's really great to be here. It's good to visit with Sarah. Uh, again, we've actually visited before, but we appreciate the opportunity on behalf of Syngenta and Halix GT Herbicide and Agritalk to, to present this donation uh, to the Food Bank of Iowa. Part of the Weeding Out Hunger campaign that has been such a success and helped a lot of people. Oh, it's, it's been a great campaign. You know, we donated over $100,000 uh, to Feeding America affiliates across the U.S. last year. We anticipate doing that this year. Uh, we continue to do that based on Halix GT sales. And the way things are going right now, Mike, it looks like we're headed in the right direction in terms of making at least a $100,000 donation this year. And it has been eye-opening to me uh, just how great this need is across the country. It, it has for me, too, you know, and, and the need has increased, but the need was there even before we got into the recession, and we've just seen a growing need associated with, uh, you know, needy folks visiting food food banks across the U.S. Uh, since the recession hit, but even before then, you know, we, we were in a position to do that, and we thought in conjunction with Halix GT and continuing to launch and grow that brand that we use it as an opportunity to work with Feeding America affiliates across the U.S. to bring 
recognition to the hunger problem. You know, that's one of the primary things that we're trying to do here. So people can go to the feedingamerica.org website and understand a little bit more about needs across America. It's a great program, and St. Jenna's to be uh, commended for it. Uh, Sarah, you, we've talked about the growing need out there. What about uh, donations, the giving? Is that uh, stepped up or held about the same? Donations are holding about the same. Uh, I'd like to say we're keeping our head above water, uh, but truly the food goes out of our warehouse as quickly as it comes in. And how can people give if they want to give how do they give what do they give give them some ideas well financial donations are always appreciated um, either at the food bank or at the local pantry level but food donations are um, always in need and we keep kind of a super six list of the top needed items so if someone's going to the grocery store and wants to make a donation of food they can take it to their local food bank or again they can take it to their local pantry is there a challenge uh, to get the information out for people that need this service, need this food? Uh, they may not know how to access it or take part of, uh, in some of the programs that are available to them. Uh, very true. And we're seeing more and more first-time users for um, pantries, people who have never tried to access the system before. I would encourage people to take a look at our website, which is foodbankiowa.org. We have, uh, we have um, resources there for people to find local pantries in their county um, or ways to access SNAP benefits such as that. Sarah Boniface with uh, the Program Coordinator for Food Bank of Iowa. Thank you very much, and uh, good luck with your work. Thank you very much. And Carol Mosley from Syngenta, great program, the Weeding Out Hunger Campaign. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for the opportunity to visit with you today. Thanks to Syngenta for making it possible for us to make these contributions. All right, we'll be back to World Pork Expo. Stay with us. This is AgriTalk. <laughs>